All right, thank you, Nathan. Well, today, the Biden administration reversed a Trump-era ban on abortion referrals by community planning clinics. This comes as political battles on abortion rights grow from Texas and are starting to impact surrounding states. THB 11 Sarah Herbakowitz breaks down what future legislation in Arkansas could look like. After restrictive abortion legislation went into effect in Texas last month, other states like right here in Arkansas are starting to feel the effects. We have so much going on. Since new legislation severely restricting abortions in Texas went into effect last month, Planned Parenthoods in bordering states are seeing a surge in patients coming from the Lone Star State. It seems to be an ever-growing, you know, volume of, of patients with each passing week. Heather Palacios is a vice president for Planned Parenthood in the Great Plains region, and she says in states like Oklahoma and Arkansas, it's unlike anything she's seen. Uh, last year, we saw you know, around 250 patients from Texas across our affiliate. This year to date, we've seen more than 500, more like 550, and half of those since September 1st. But out-of-state patients coming to Arkansas for abortion procedures isn't new. In 2020, 12% of all abortion patients seen in the natural state were from somewhere else. And nearly 20% of those cases were from Texas alone. And while as it stands, Arkansas allows abortions up until 20 weeks, a newly passed law, a near total ban on abortions except when saving the mother's life, is still being challenged in court. Right now, that law is temporarily on hold, blocked by a U.S. district judge. That preliminary block can be appealed to the Eighth Circuit Court, which can either enforce it or cancel it. Then the district court can hand down a final judgment, possibly blocking the law for good. That decision again could be appealed, possibly all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. This could keep going for a while. Oh, yeah. But for now, courts are still working through the preliminary injunction stage. We don't for sure know who's going to win the lawsuit just from a preliminary injunction. Okay. Right? Because it depends on things like who might suffer irreparable injury if the law goes into effect. It also does look at who's probably going to win the lawsuit, but it's just a prediction. As Planned Parenthood gets ready for a possible continued out-of-state surge if Arkansas becomes more restrictive. You know, kind of weathering this storm right now. Uh, it's, it's at an all-time um, level of importance to, to be supportive. Right now, Planned Parenthood tells me that they're seeing most of the Texas overflow in Oklahoma, but they're worried that if more restrictive legislation does in fact go into effect in Arkansas, that that could overwhelm the system. For now, reporting in Little Rock, Sarah Backwitz, THV 11 News.